I recently got a new planer and one of the accessories I decided I wanted with it is one of these digital readouts made by Wixie. And it's really nice because it will have a nice digital readout right here about the thickness of your finished board and it will read it out in both uh, decimal and fractions. So I thought I'd go ahead and put together a quick little video on showing you how to install this Wixie digital readout on the DW735. First I remove the red depth gauge indicator from the ruler. Keep the screws because we'll need those later. Installing the readout on the DeWalt doesn't use the leveling feet, but I'm going to use it temporarily to make lining up the gauge easier. I make the bottom presser foot level with the bed of my planer by adjusting the leveling screw. It's important that the foot is never lower than the planer table or you'll have calibration issues. I remove the paper backing from the foam tape and press the digital gauge into place, lining the edge of the frame with the edge of the existing scale. I'm temporarily going to remove the tension spring so I can move the sliding gauge out of the way while I work. I drill two holes in the ruler on the DeWalt to accept two mounting screws. With a ratchet, I screw in the two self-tapping screws to hold the digital readout permanently in place. Then I reattach a tensioning spring to the sliding gauge. I remove the leveling foot since I no longer need it, and technically it doesn't apply to the DeWalt installation. In the same screw holes from the red depth indicator I removed from the first step, I screw in the angle bracket using the same screws and a provided washer. But don't tighten it down yet, we'll do that with the final adjustment. On the digital readout, remove the screw on the left side and attach another angle bracket. Again, we'll keep the connection loose for final adjustment. Then we connect the two angle brackets with the provided bolts. I set my stop gauge on the planer to the three quarter inch preset. Lower the planer until it stops. Move the gauge so it lines up with 3 quarter inch on the ruler. Then we tighten all the bolts and screws. We add our AAA batteries. and remove the protective film. To calibrate, we run the board through the planer so it removes the entire top surface. We lift the presser foot, slide our board beneath, then hold down the on-off calibrate button for three to five seconds. It will zero out the gauge. When we remove the board and the presser foot returns to its original position, the readout will be the thickness of your board. I could take a pair of calipers to confirm this. Now we're ready to do some work. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what these buttons do. The very first button right here is the on, off, and calibrate. To turn it on, we just push the button, turn it off, we push the button again. And in order to calibrate, we got to make sure that the, uh, the Wixie is on. And then when you're ready to calibrate, you just hold that button down for a few seconds and then it will automatically calibrate for you. Uh, we have our digital readout right here. As you can see, it's showing 0.5 inches. So we'll have a decimal readout. And we also have a fractional readout, which shows a half an inch. 
button at the top shows millimeters and inches so if you prefer to work in millimeters you could push this button and it will show you at 12.6 millimeters um, and then if we want to switch it back to inches uh, we could show point uh, just about point 0.5 let me dial that up just a tish there we go uh, the middle button is absolute and incremental so right now what we're in is absolute mode and you can kind of see that at the top here and that's what's going to show uh, the thickness of your board so this is going to be uh, 0.5 inches or one half inch um, once the board goes through uh, you could also do increments too and you could uh, push the button once and it goes over to increments you can kind of see that it says increment right there and then we could uh, raise it up or down uh, however you want um, so we might want to remove a tenth of an inch right there and you can do that if you'd like uh, so that way you could kind of um, uh, gauge exactly how much you're taking off as opposed to your final dimensions um, most of the time I like mine in absolute you could also measure your board uh, we just switch this over to increment and then uh, we put the board underneath our presser foot and it'll measure our board exactly without the use of uh, secondary calipers. So there you have it. That was a quick and easy install and I think I'm really going to like having that digital readout attached to my planer. Uh, I'll go ahead and put a link to the uh, Wixie digital readout in the description below so you can check it out if you'd like. Um, if you found this video useful, uh, go ahead and click the like button. That helps me out an awful lot. And while you're at it, go ahead and check out some of my other videos. And if you like what you see, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Uh, that's it for this time. I'll see you soon.